Why is it that in 2021, and about the year 31, people were struggling with the exact same thing? They cared way more about politics than they do about God. I think the answer for us is right in the text. Remember what was on that denarius that Jesus picked up? Tiberius Caesar, son of the god Augustus, high priest. In Rome, the theological leader was also the political leader of the nation. The emperor was, well, like the coin says, considered a son of the gods, basically divinity and humanity connected. And because of that, all of Roman religion, if you want to call it that, went through the emperor. But Rome wasn't unique in this. The Jews were basically the same way. Remember the Sanhedrin? We talked about them last time. They were both the theological and political leaders of their time. In fact, um, I just finished a book by Larry Hurtado called The Destroyer of the Gods. And in that, he argues that before like New Testament Christianity, before the coming of Jesus, every single nation operated this way. Your political leaders and your theological leaders were the exact same. Because to be part of your nation, to be part of your government, was to be religious. So the idea that we have in in modern Western society, the separation of church and state, is a relatively novel idea, and I would even say across the world, still a pretty unique thing. The problem is I think we forget that that's the natural way that human beings have always operated, and so in a sense, we tend to regress back to the mean, if you will. We tend to start to treat politics, well, like it is religion, right? Right? Maybe you don't see this, but as I've been thinking more and more about the political issues that our, our, our country is going through and the world is going through, I can't help myself but, but notice that time and again, politics looks exactly like religion. Have you ever noticed this? Let's just take, a, a, a take stock of it for a second. What is Christianity? Uh, Christianity is a high power who sends you a messenger, Jesus, who if you listen to him and follow him and what he says, he will lead you to a utopia, we call it heaven, that along the way that's going to require some sacrifices of you, we would call them offerings, time, service. But the goal is that as you do that, you will bring more people along with you. To get there, you have the support of preachers, pastors, who remind you of the values of the messenger and of the higher power that you can be more and more convinced that what you believe is true and helpful for your life and for your eternity. What is politics? A higher power, we would call them the party, who sends you a messenger, we would call him maybe the prime minister or the leader, who will give you a message about how if you follow him and listen to him, he's going to lead you to some sort of utopia, depends on which party you're following, but they'll give you that picture, that image, a world like this. And there are going to be some sacrifices along the way. Of course, you need to vote for them, but you know, it'd be really good if you could donate to their campaign or you could put a sign in your front lawn. And along the way, of course, you still have all of the preachers. Most of the time we find them on media, social or traditional, who will extol the virtues of the leader so that you can be fully reminded of how great he or she is and why you should continue to follow them on the way to utopia. Isn't it the same thing? See, politics is, in a sense, the antithesis of, well, what I would call proper religion. It's like venom to Spider-Man, if you get that reference. It's like the dark side of religion, and, and, and because of that, it can fulfill in us the deep sense every one of us has that we are religious. We are spiritual beings who need some sort of transcendent reality that is going to fix everything that is wrong with the world. We all have that sense. Very quickly, we run to politics to solve it. We look to our leaders to be Pontiff Maximus, high priest, even if we wouldn't necessarily call him that. 